Welcome back to Grace's Room. So today I really wanted to talk to you guys about some of the little things that annoy me from time to time, also known as pet peeves. So I had to think about some of my top 10 pet peeves and the first one that I thought of was when people steal my food. You know after recess and you sit down with your friends and you're really excited because you're really hungry and you open up your bag of chips and then all of a sudden you get hit with the, Grace can I please have one chip? So I'm usually the type of person that gives in to people so I'm like, okay fine you can have one chip but it never ends up being one chip. It's like two then three and then someone else finds out that I have chips and then they steal my chips and then I get left with only a little bit of chips in the end. So it's okay when I have some of your food but my food is out of bounds. I do sometimes sniff occasionally, you know, when I'm getting over a cold, but when other people do it, it's just really gross, annoying, and distracting, and I really don't like it. I do not like it when people don't cover their mouths and they sneeze or cough. Now, I'm a little bit germophobic. I hate getting sick. So when I'm talking to someone and they start sneezing or coughing, I'm a little bit like, so please, if you're gonna sneeze or cough, just cover your mouth. Hey James, have you seen my Nicky Mouse earrings? Well, I think I... when I have my earphones in. Now this may kind of come across rude and I'll be honest, my parents mainly do this the most, but you know when you're sitting in the car just happily listening to your music and all of a sudden someone starts talking to you and you've got to pause your music, take out your earphones, enter the question, then you put them back in, play your music, and they start talking to you again. So you've got to do that all over again and then, can you not see that I have my earphones in? <laughs> Yes, James, who are you listening to? I'm listening to Billie Eilish. Okay. Grace. What's wrong, James? Who is she? She's a singer. Yeah. Grace. Yes, James! Do I know any of her songs? I'll tell you later. Grace. Now this next peeve is one of my biggest pet peeves. It's when I don't have a comeback. So you know when you're talking to someone and they say something really smart to you and you think to yourself, oh yeah, well, and then I don't have a comeback. I just freeze and say something really dumb in the end. But then three hours later, I think of a really good comeback that I could have said and it just bugs me for the rest of the day. That always happens to me. And I know some people who can just think of a comeback like that but it just takes me forever and oh, it's so annoying. Grace, are you selling your toothpaste? Mine's finished. No, Grace, mum and dad for a new one. I guess you do need it. You do have a smelly breath. Oh yeah? Well... should have said. People who hum or sing to songs in the car also annoy me. 
So you know when you're sitting in the car and your favorite song comes on and you just want to listen to it and just relax but then all of a sudden a member of your family starts to try to sing or hum along to it and they don't even know the words and it's just so annoying because then you just can't concentrate on the song and it's like just let the singer sing it you can't sing <laughs> continue to text and call when I'm obviously not available. This usually happens while I'm filming a video and someone texts me saying can you FaceTime and I can't answer the phone and then they call me then they text and they text and call and I know I should have put my phone on silent but I'm very forgetful so people I will get back to you just be patient. <laughs> Hi guys welcome back Welcome back to Grace's room. So today I'm going to be doing another slime video. Hi guys, welcome back to... Hi guys, welcome... Hi guys, welcome back to Grace's room. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Grace's room. How do you turn this phone off? This one happens to me all the time, when people talk over me. I don't know how many times I've tried to tell people a story and then I get interrupted mid-sentence and I'm like, hey, lips moving, still talking. Let me finish my story, then you can tell your important story. James, you won't believe what happened at school today. So it was during maths class. Oh yeah, we did no work today. We did our work the whole day. Even our teacher let us put music on. That's great. Now I'm actually going to go tell someone who will listen to my story. When you text people and they don't respond. You know when you're having a text message conversation with someone and all of a sudden they just disappear and they don't respond? I'm not sure if you had to go have an important dinner with the queen or something, but at least Finish the conversation or say that you're going. Where is she? My last pet peeve is when people cannot make decisions. You know when you're watching a movie with someone and they just can't decide what movie to watch and then when we're choosing the snacks, you want popcorn or ice cream, they still can't choose which one they want and they can't even choose what seat they want to sit in. It's not a life changing decision, just, just choose something. Okay James, which one of these two movies do you want to watch? Both. Just pick one. Um, it's not that hard. Actually, the first one. Okay, the first one it is. Actually, no, no, the second one. Okay, we're watching the second Wait, one. Wait, no, 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 I can't decide. So those are my pet peeves. I'll be honest, I'm kind of guilty of doing some of these things myself, but they still annoy me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below some of your biggest pet peeves and I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.